Beezy out here chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm thugged out, nigga, but I just seen a motherfucking rainbow, nigga. I ain't that motherfucker thug down, nigga. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. My baby mama probably at the end of that bitch with a gold digging ass. Okay, guys. Trying yogurt skittles for the first time, literally. These are so fucking peng. I would marry one, shag it, and have skittle babies. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what? <laughs> Why do you have a police baton? Don't worry about it. what's up. That made a tickle my pickle. Metal on me like a nickel. Ice on me, just like a sickle. My buy on bike, and if I bought a bike, then I'm putting ice on a bicycle. Just got the new Yeezys in the mail. Let's see what they look like. I hope they got it right. Alright, yeah. Hey, look at me. I just won a billion dollars, you fucking retards. All I gotta do is enter my debit card number and my social security number. I just broke up with my girlfriend and told my boss to go fuck himself because I'm a millionaire now. Look at that. <laughs> This is Ernie's pimp ride he uses to pick up chicks. People keep asking me why Josh Powell committed suicide and blew himself up with his two children. With Colton, and he's going to show you the Colton boogie. You ready? Get it. Go Colton. Why does this taste like dog shit? Bro! That's my poop water for biology, dude. Give me that shit. Here's my gas can. My brother Josh blew himself up and his two kids. So I was told the police are gonna come to my house and speak to me about some of the things that I post. You think about a good psychological operation. Utilizing the police to make the public think the things I speak about have never happened. Or, or using them to seed the distrust in the community that witnessed all of the things happen that I say have happened. Right? The community had to witness me get thrown out of my house by the military and dumped on a street in Tacoma. So I could be toured around to the drug mules and sex traffic children and be told, look what happens to the people who help you guys. Right? Imagine what will happen to you and what the military will do to you if you try to escape. Right? You imagine uh, a great psychological operation is using the police department to pretend things didn't happen, to see distrust in the community that watched it happen.